If your PC is running slow and you are having low and FPS drops while gaming, too many background processes could be the reason. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to reduce unnecessary processes on Windows 10 and 11 to boost performance. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like on this video. So, in the very first step, copy the code provided in the description, then open the Windows search bar on your computer. Type Windows PowerShell into the search field and run the program as an administrator to ensure you have the necessary permissions. Once PowerShell is open, paste the copied code into the window and press Enter. This action will trigger the automatic opening of the Windows utility. Next, navigate to the Tweaks section where you will find a list of recommended options, such as Standard, Minimal, and Clear, all of which are ready for installation. Choose the Standard option and verify that all the settings I have outlined for you are checked. Afterwards, scroll down to continue with the process. Next, launch ONO Shutup and run the setup on your PC. When the program opens, you will be presented with its user interface. Although you have the option to adjust the settings manually, doing so could potentially harm your system, so a safer approach is recommended. Simply navigate to the Action tab and click on Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will automatically apply the settings that are best suited for your system, ensuring both optimal performance and safety. After completing all the settings in the ONO Shutup setup, return to Windows Dev Loader and simply click the Run Tweaks button. This will execute all the essential tweaks on your PC, and also create a restore point ensuring that the process is 100% safe. In the next step, we will disable all unnecessary services on your Windows system. To do this, press the Windows key and type Services, then press Enter. Next, press R and locate Remote Desktop Services. Right-click on it, select Properties, then go to the Startup Type section and set it to Disabled. Simply hit Apply and click. OK. After that, locate Remote Registry Services, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the Properties window, set the Startup Type to Disabled. Then, click Apply and finally hit OK. Now, open the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor. Make sure to run the tool as an administrator to ensure you have complete access. Once the Registry Editor is open, now we're going to disable background apps. For that, copy the path provided in the description of this video, paste it into the Registry Editor's search bar, and press Enter. Next, locate Global User Disabled. Right-click on this registry entry, select Modify, then set its value to 1, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. Now, we will disable Windows Defender. First, copy the path from the description, paste it into the Registry Editor's search bar, and press Enter. Next, right-click anywhere in the Registry Editor, select New, and then choose DW Ord, 32-bit value. Name it Disable Anti-Spyware. Ensure the capitalization is correct. Right-click on the New Registry Entry, select Modify, set the value to 1, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. Now, we will disable Remote Assistance. First, copy the path from the description, paste it into the Registry Editor's search bar, and press Enter. Next, locate Fallow to get help. Right-click on it, select Modify, set up the value to 0, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply all the changes. Now, in the next step, right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Then, go to the Startup tab and disable any applications you don't want to run when you start your PC. This will help reduce your boot time. Disabling unnecessary startup applications reduces boot time and frees up system resources, improving overall performance. This leads to a faster, more efficient system with less strain on CPU and memory. Now, download the pack using the link provided in the description box. Simply visit my website and download it from there. Once the download is complete, extract the RAR file to your desktop and open the folder. Inside, you will find this type of interface. Here are some folders. The Registry Tweaks folder, the Optimizer Setup folder, and the Park Control folder. First, open the Registry Tweaks folder and execute each Registry Tweak one by one on your PC. This will help enhance your system's performance and make it more responsive. Next, open the Optimizer folder and run the Optimizer Setup. This program will help make your system faster and reduce the CPU load. After opening the tool, you'll see the interface of the Optimizer. First, go to the General section and check all the options under System Settings, including Optimize Performance, Optimize Network, Disable Error Reporting, 
disable compatibility assistant, disable print services, disable fax services, disable sticky keys, and also turn off smart screen. Next, go to the section for either Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on your system, and navigate to the Windows Update section. Enable Disable Automatic Update and turn off Microsoft Store Updates. Then disable Insider Services and exclude drivers from update. Afterward, go to the Gaming section, enable Game Mode Settings, and also turn on Disable Xbox Live and Disable Game Bar. These settings will help improve your system's performance and make it faster. Now, simply click the Restart button to apply the changes. Next, open the Park Control folder and install the .exe file. After installation, you'll see the interface of the tool. In the first step, change the profile from Balanced to Bitsum High Performance. Bitsum High Performance optimizes system processes and prioritizes critical tasks, improving speed and responsiveness for demanding applications. Simply activate it. Next, disable Parking AC, Parking DC, Frex Scaling AC, and Frex Scaling DC. Set all the core numbers to 100%. Then, check Bitsum Dynamic Boost enabled and set it to Bitsum Highest Performance. Set the time before the PC is considered idle to 300 seconds and click OK. Finally, click Apply and then OK. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now go to the Windows search bar, type Background Apps, and press Enter. Make sure to turn off all background applications, as these are unnecessary processes running in the background. Disabling background applications reduces unnecessary CPU processes, allowing the system to focus on essential tasks. This leads to improved performance, faster speeds, and more efficient resource usage. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. See you next time!